It's my feel good breakfast show. <laughs> Welcome back, you beauties. And I mean that in every sense of the word. Why? Because we are honing in on Crown Chasers, an SABC3 exclusive um, in full swing at the moment, and we cannot be more excited. So the recent action-packed episode had contestants flown off to Mauritius Tough Life for various challenges, and of course, they had to hit the one way. Let's find out, sadly, who was recently eliminated in Crown Chasers. One of the three of you your Miss South Africa 2023 journey ends here. For the other two, a narrow escape from elimination. Mm. Lungo, mm -hmm. you received the lowest scores from the judges this week. That means it is the end of the road for you, for Miss South Africa 2023. I will now ask you to please hang up your sash as you have been eliminated from the competition. Congratulations, Laverne and Kia. You live to see another day. Little Mermaid! Little oh. Mermaid, oh man. Mm. Listen, this is getting me all emotional, but we have Miss Essay finalist Lungo Katete, in, who's in Johannesburg, to find out more about how her experience in Mauritius and on Crown Chasers were. Lungo, we were so sad to see you go. Good morning. Good morning, thank, thank you so much for having me. I was sad to see myself go too. <laughs> oh, but you know what? This is a beautiful journey because you've you've participated, and in fact, you've been Miss SA Earth, Miss Earth, Miss Miss Earth SA. <laughs> I'm malfunctioning. Yeah, you can see her pageant days are long <laughs> behind her now. You know, <laughs> long, long, long behind. How how is competing or participating in the journey to Miss SA different? Or was it similar? I think the one thing that makes it entirely different is just the reality TV series kind of component. Because usually with the past, Imagined, you know, you do a few things, you have a few interviews and you show up on stage and, you know, they choose a winner based off of your performance. But now it's almost like they flip the script in totality because you're on a TV show, you're given challenges, you're being pushed to your limits and still have to be on stage and still have to do all of these things. So it's an entirely different experience in terms of pageantry. I think it's one that allows South Africa to get to know who you are yeah. and learn more about you so that the woman that's crowned on the final day, in essence, you almost feel like you know who she is and you know who she's about and you know what she stands for. I love that. I mean, um, the Miss SA team, I think, can, can really pay you a salary for embodying what this process is like. And I'm so glad that you honed in on that because I've, I've walked uh, this journey with a number of our former Miss SAs as a host and being a part of that journey, it's nothing short of life-changing. I get that. There's always this duality of, we'll take you to Mauritius and then make it unbelievably tough and challenging for you. I know that in itself must have been quite hectic. But when you look at this journey, as someone who spent time modeling and in the pageantry world, what surprised you about the Miss SA journey and the Crown Chasers journey? What's been your biggest learning? I think for me, the challenge has just been, you're obviously surrounded by cameras all the time. Mm. So you have to find a way to kind of feel comfortable in the space and comfortable in the surroundings. It's obviously a lot to adjust to, but I think it just takes a bit of time for you to feel comfortable and get used to being in the space. Obviously, when we went to Mauritius, you're in a, di you're in a totally different country. So there's adjusting to the people, the environment, the space. But I think it, overall, it's been a beautiful journey, one I will definitely never forget. Oh, well, Lungo, the viewers will never forget you. And I mean, the impact you've also had in your own capacity. I mean, just looking at your social media, you shared a post about the hardships you faced when finishing up your studies, doing your honours and your masters. Now, I know that there are quite a few people also going through their studies and facing that difficult, those difficulties. Do you have any words of advice for them? Perhaps, you know, words of encouragement to yeah. not give up? Because you've, you've been in that space. 
I think the one thing I've learned about life is it'll always throw you a challenge here and there. It will always make you feel like you're about to stumble and you're about to fall. But I think if you know what you're working towards and you know what you're trying to achieve and you focus on the bigger picture, that will definitely give you the strength to push through. Because life will always be hard. Life will always have its bad days. But I think just focusing on what you're trying to achieve, focusing on your dreams and pushing through the pain is always the best option. Because through that pain, you will grow and you will learn so much no matter how difficult it may be because at the end of the day these lessons that you are challenged with and these lessons that you are given are molding you into the woman or the person that you need to become to achieve your future goals so don't see it as a setback see it as a learning experience to become an even better version of yourself Oh, I love it. I can hear the self-talk there as well, which I love. So I'm glad that you are taking this one on the chin. I have no doubt that we will be connecting with you, Lungo, many times in what promises to be an amazing career. But I'm so sorry that you had to exit this journey and we had to make you live through that moment once again. You are lovely. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, there we go. Lungo from The Crown Chasers, which is in full swing and has been action-packed since sure. it started. So make sure you tune in to Crown Chasers every Sunday at 4 p.m. on SABC3. Trust me, you do not want to miss out on a thing because it is action-packed and... Uh, and emotional. It is emotional. <laughs> Crown Chasers on S3.